Hi, I'm Tara with Smart Deploy, and this is Smart Tech Tips. Today, we are going to learn how to make an ISO. If you've never made one, it can seem kind of scary, but it, it's really easy. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then you can make 20 today. It's that easy. So there's lots of ways to do it, and some people get really complicated, but we're not gonna do that. You know me, I like to do things really simply and easily. So the best way to do it is to use something called Windows Media Creation Tool. We're gonna to go straight to Microsoft because that's the best practice for creating ISO. So the first thing I want you to do is just go search Windows Media Creation Tool. And then it's gonna take us here. And today we're gonna to look for Windows 11. The process for creating Windows 10 and Windows 11 is slightly different, but once you get here, you're just gonna follow the instructions, but just keep that in mind. When you're doing Windows 10, it actually asks you if you want to burn it to disk. So just ignore that part if you do Windows 10 and you're gonna select ISO. But we're gonna do Windows 11 today, okay? So when I get to this page, you're gonna see all this stuff. Ignore this top part. We're gonna scroll down download Windows 11 disk image ISO for 64-bit. And if you want to read through it, it's going to tell you all your instructions right here, okay? So if you feel nervous, just read through those. But for us, we're just going to hit download, and then it's going to ask us, what do we want? We want Windows 11. Click on that, and it is a download, okay? So remember, it's going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to click it, but we're not gonna have time to finish it because it takes a while. It's kind of a big file. We want 64-bit. These can be five gigs or so, so just be patient. You're gonna specify where you want that ISO to be. Make sure you label your folder accordingly so that when you're in Smart Deploy, you know where you're going. Keep them all in a place that has ample space because remember, these are big files. That's all there is to it. Once you do a couple, you'll remove that fear factor and you're gonna be a pro in no time. Okay, go try some. Leave me some comments and tell me how you did. I'm excited to hear. I'm Tara from Smart Deploy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.